Okay, guys, here we go with issue 36. We're getting quite far with this. We've already waited for this one to dry. I'm still waiting for it to dry at the moment, but I thought I'd make a start on this one as well. Allow them all to dry at the same time, and hopefully that means we can start building upwards, which is going to be so cool. So it looks like we're building a little bit more of the basement. And more importantly, we're building along this section here, if I've read the instructions right. So this one here is going to go here, and this one is going to go here, and I think this one is going to go here. So it's going to go along here and then along that route there, which is going to look absolutely brilliant. But on top of that, we also have gifts. And our gifts are extra special. Oops, I nearly lost my scissors. Now, these gifts are based on Cinderella, on the Cinderella room. And being Cinderella room, you've got a couple of balls of wool. I've got a green one. This actually looks like very, very thin ball that you'd use to crochet rather than knit. I'm guessing they might be threads. There's a purple one and there's a green one and you've got a nice little wicker basket to hold the wool in. Whoops. And then you've got a nice little thimble here with a little pin cushion with a load of pins ready for Cinderella to work on a new dress. Two baubles of thread, of sewing thread, which also go into here. Turn that round. There we go. And you can't really do any cross stitching or any sewing without a pair of scissors. Nice little pair of sewing scissors right in the middle, right there. There we go. That actually looks really cool. And these aren't stick on, so if these go missing, that's going to be a huge problem. So these are going to go straight into the storage area straight away. And I might put them in a bag to keep them safe. And this as well. But on top of that, we're going to build another item. And it's going to be the book that Cinderella gets the inspiration. I'm going to slide it that way to the dress that she originally wears to the ball which is also the dress that the doll's house has and as you can see it's a nice little sewing box and sewing book back of it looks really cool and these i'm guessing are the pages so we're going to work on the book first and then we're going to work on the wall or i might change it actually i might do the wall first and then the book. I'll have a think about it. Anyway, catch you guys a little bit later. I'm going to get on to reading the instructions properly and then we're going to get started. Catch you later.
all my other, all my builds, it's probably actually this is the best build I've probably done. That's actually pretty cool. That's amazing. That was actually a lot more easier than I thought it was going to be. What do you think, guys? There's the back, there's the front. There's the back. And there's the ooh. There's the design. That is so cool. And that was so simple to do. That is so amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Right, this is going to go into a safe spot. And we're going to make a start. Okay, let me get old faithful masking tape. Uh-huh. <coughs> um, just realised, have you had anything to eat? I just have a bowl of cereal, hun. Bowl of cereal? Yeah, I'm not that hungry. Right, mm. this one's going to be the difficult one, guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so once that's dry, we'll have a little look at it and we'll see. But already, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Even with the masking tape, it actually looks really impressive. I'm actually really proud of it. There's the front part. So cool. So cool. So cool. That is amazing. There's a little bit of a gap, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. We'll find out when we, as we keep installing. They should be sticking together, so if they're not, it's possible I've built the floor slightly wrong. But we'll see what it looks like when I remove the masking tape. But that looks cool. Now, it's late. I gotta get ready for bed and uh, I gotta do some cleaning up as well. So I'll catch you guys in the next issue. Take care, guys. See you.